Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. I love breakfast and I love sausages and I love eggs, one of my most favorite breakfasts. So I thought, what is better than having them combined? So I made these up. Scotch eggs. Oops. What, what, is, what is that I'm over my head? Anyway, <laughs> this is incredibly delicious. I'm going to walk you through this. So let's get going. So I'm going to kick things off here by carefully submersing four eggs into some boiling water. And I can't stress enough, you want to do this carefully because you don't want them cracking. And we're going to let these boil for exactly six minutes. I should mention too that six minutes is going to give you a soft boiled egg, you know, nice and runny. If you want a hard boil, leave it for about eight, something like that. It's entirely up to you. After six minutes, we're going to take them out of the pot and put them into an ice bath just to stop the cooking. And we're going to leave them in here for a few minutes because they're a whole lot easier to peel when they're cold. Okay, after a few minutes in the ice bath, we're just going to go ahead and peel the shells off. That water is cold. I wouldn't want to be in there. Yeah, and the longer you leave these in the water, the easier they are to peel. Now, I've told this joke before, guys, but what day do eggs hate the most? Fried eggs meaning Fridays. Kind of corny, but cute. Oh no, guys. Inevitably, sometimes this happens. You crack the egg open. What am I going to do? i got to boil another one. Oh. oh, well. Nevertheless, it is beautifully soft-boiled. Mmm, yum. Need pepper. Now I'll just go ahead and set these aside on a plate. Next up, the fun part. I'm going to grab up some Italian sausages, and these are mild Italian. I mean, you can use hot, whatever kind of sausage you like. Um, I've been known to use my famous hamburger mixture too, which I'll put a link to in below. It's really good. But what you want to do here is take the casing off. So I'm just going to kind of cut into this a little more. Something like that. What I'm going to do here is lay it out and kind of make it into a circular shape, something like a hamburger patty. Lay the egg on and then just gently wrap it up. And I can't stress enough again gently because this egg is soft boiled so you just got to kind of finesse it. Again, it takes a few minutes, but you know, you'll get it. Just so it's nicely covered. There are a number of different ways to do this. You can also put it in the palm of your hand and then just kind of flatten it out and roll it into a circular shape. Place the egg on and then again, gently cover it with a sausage mixture. Next up, our dredging station. And first of all, we're going to roll this in some flour until it's completely covered. And what you can do, you can go ahead and season this if you like, but I find that the, uh, the Italian sausage has enough seasoning into a couple of beaten eggs. And I always change hands, left hand, right hand, because this process can get a little bit messy. Last but not least, into our breadcrumbs. I like these because they're a little bit larger, but you know, you can go ahead and use Italian, whatever you like. Then just set these aside on a plate. Now we're going to slip these into some hot oil at 350 Fahrenheit, 177 Celsius, for about three and a half to four minutes on each side, just until the point they're golden brown. We'll just go ahead and set this aside on a plate 
and repeat this process for the rest of the eggs. And there you have it guys, our scotch eggs. Okay, let's go ahead and cut into this and see what we've got. Uh oh, just look at this, it looks incredible. Okay, let's go ahead and give these a taste test. Mm. Mm -mm. Just incredible, guys. The egg is runny. I just love that runny yolk. The Italian sausage, even though it's mild, it still has that kick, that bite to it. The breading, mm, I just love these. I can eat them all day. So for the full scoop on this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.